Hi to all of my family. Welcome back to our channel. This is Prophetess Nikki here. I pray that today brings you great blessings. I pray today brings all of you great joy and abundance of happiness, family. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken in any of your lives. I pray that God's face will always shine upon all of you. May God continue to bless you, may he prosper you, and may God keep you in every area of your life because God is going to do nothing less than that. To all of my go-getters, I want you to know that people will secretly wish that you fail in your life. That's right. If you're a go-getter, if you're full of high esteem, and if you're full of confidence, if you are full of confidence, I want you to understand that people will secretly wish that you fail. Do you know you have people on the sidelines? Do you know you have people just peeking their head out at you, not knowing, letting you know that they're there? They're secretly wishing that you fail. You know why people are secretly wishing that you fail? Because people are annoyed because you are a go-getter. That's right. People are annoyed that you are a go-getter. These are malicious people. And you know why they're malicious? Because they have low self-esteem. I want you to know that a jealous person is more dangerous than your hater. You remember that. Your haters are really your biggest cheerleaders. They are your really your biggest fan. But a jealous person... Remember the Bible story of Cain and Abel. He killed his brother out of rage and out of jealousy because he felt that God gave his brother respect of offering. When Cain and Abel gave an offering to God, he felt like God had respect a person, but he did not. People would secretly wish that you failed in your life. Whatever you do, whatever you plan, People will secretly sit back and wish that it comes to nothing. People will sit back and secretly wish they will be patiently waiting to you to fail. Did you know that? People will secretly, family, sit back and twiddle their thumbs and pray and wish and hope on your downfall because these people are so annoyed how you are a go-getter. They have low self-esteem. These are people, family, that would secretly wish that you fail. They won't vocalize this. They're not going to vocalize that they want you to fail. Oh, no. They're going to sit back and watch and They're going to sit back and wait. And they're going to wish. They're going to watch you work. They're going to watch you work. They're going to watch you produce. But secretly, they're going to wish that, that you fail at it. They're not going to vocalize this to you. They're not. They won't vocalize it because your failure in some twisted way helps them feel better about themselves. Can you imagine that people would not vocalize how they really feel, but they would secretly, family, wish that you fail because your failure in some twisted way, it helps these people feel better about themselves because they feel low about themselves. You have the courage to step out on faith. You do, and they don't. They're fearful and they're afraid of the unknown. But you, glory to God, you embrace this. This is why people are annoyed. They are annoyed because you go get what you want, family of God. You step out on faith and they talk. And don't do anything. You got the courage to step out on faith. And they don't have the courage to do it. These people are afraid. They're fearful to embrace the unknown. But you embrace it. Did you know some people will measure their own failure by your own success? The attention that you get, they want it. The attention that you get, the limelight that you're in, the applause that you get, the accolades that you receive. They want it. And here's a reality check. Insecure people, family, who are eaten up with jealousy and envy are like an incurable disease. Your haters are less lethal to you. You remember this. Your haters are less lethal to you. They are. They are far less lethal to you than a person who is jealous and envious of you. Remember that story of Cain and Abel when Cain killed his brother out of a rage 
and jealousy. He thought God preferred his brother over him, and that wasn't the case. If we do well, don't you know God will bless all of us? People don't understand that. All they can do is keep their eyes on you, what you're doing, how you're being blessed. But if they can just take their attention off of you and put it on themselves and do the work. Some people won't put the work in and they will hate you for putting the work in. This is why people will secretly wish that you fail. You have people who are connected to you. That's why you have to stay prayed up. You got to stay vigilant. You got to stay sober minded because they are secretly hating on your family. You have people who are secretly wishing that you fail. They'll ask you everything that's going on in your life. But the reason they're asking is not out of true concern. Some people will view you the same like you get all the attention. Did you know that? Some people look at you and look at your life. And they think your life comes easy. You get all the attention. Things in your life come so easy for you. So what is the right thing for us to do? If you're in this situation, if you have found yourself in this situation, you got to keep ignoring this. You got to ignore the chatter. You got to close your ear gate up, family. Ignore them at all costs. Ignore them and you ignore their negative vibes that they bring. You got to stay focused. You remain diligent. See, you're going somewhere. You're working on something. God is doing good things in your life, family, and people are annoyed by that. They are wishing what you have is theirs. If they put the work in, they will get the same results as you. But people sometimes don't want to put the work in. These are malicious People with low self-esteem that secretly wish on your downfall. They secretly wish that you fail, family. And they measure your own failure by your success. They measure their own failure by your success. Did you know that? The attention that you get. The spotlight is on you. And they want that spotlight on them. These are insecure people. These people are eating up with jealousy. They're eating up with envy. You got to be careful who you call a friend. And you got to be careful who you think is your enemy. Because sometimes we can be wrong. Sometimes we get it wrong, family. We got to pray. And we got to go before God. And we got to ask God, who is who? And did you send these people? What are the motives for my life? Because we can call a friend an enemy and get it wrong. And we can be calling an enemy a friend and not discern that you have an enemy walking with you, telling all your business, telling all your information, telling all these things that God is doing in your life. And the next moment, your life is going to hell in a handbasket. The next thing you know, family, Things are going down for you. You know why? Because you'll put your business in the hand of the wrong people. You got to be careful. Glory to God. Don't be like Samson. Samson messed up when he laid his head in that woman's lap. When he laid his head of comfort in her lap as comfort. Oh my God. She got everything from him then. Even his life. Glory to God. In the end, people secretly wish that you fail, secretly wishing that you fail at whatever you're trying to do. Secretly, they're not going to vocalize it. Mm -mm. They're not going to vocalize how they really feel, family. No, no. They're patiently waiting on you to fall. People will patiently wait for you to fail. But there will be a cold day in hell before you fail as a child of God. It will be a cold day in hell before you fail. And we know that that is not possible. There are no failures in the kingdom of God. No family of God. No weapon that is formed against you is going to be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, God has already condemned that. It is family. Some people measure their own failure by your success. Success. Stay prayed up. Stay prayed.
afraid of the attention that you get. People want the attention that you get, the praise that you get. They want the praise that you get. They are outraged with anger and jealousy because they want your life. The blessings that you have. Some people want that. They envy that family. So you be careful. You take this with you for the rest of your life. Your haters are less lethal to you than a jealous and envious person. A jealous and an envious person are lethal to you. You read that story in Genesis 4 and 1 about Cain and Abel. I love your family. God has your back and God has you covered. Don't get scammed on our channel, family. Do not. And get scammed here. We're going to talk later. If it be the will of the Lord. If you're new, welcome to our channel. Here we talk about everything that we will face here in this natural world. And how God wants us to overcome and deal with these issues. We are helpless one to another. You're going to come out of anything that you get in because you belong to God. I don't care what they secretly wish. I don't care what they secretly hope and pray for your downfall. The more the devil touch you, the more you're going to be blessed. Just like yo, God will restore everything that you lost, family. The canker from the palm worm that eating up in your life, God is going to restore that. We're going to talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, God's got you. I'm so excited for your future. Thank you for everything you do here on our channel to help bring glory to God. Don't forget to like our videos, share them, and don't forget to continue to subscribe. God bless you. I love you all.